Hey guys, welcome to Sex Really. So today is March 30th, which is the National Day of Action for the Backup Birth Control Campaign, a project of the National Institute for Reproductive Health. In this episode of Sex Really, we're going to give you the ABCs on EC, also known as emergency contraception. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Lena Chen. Welcome to Sex Really, your honest, wacky, and uncensored guide to everything going on in the bedroom. Keeping it real under the sheets, one episode at a time. So first of all, what is emergency contraception? EC is anything that can help you prevent pregnancy before it occurs. It has nothing to do with the abortion pill, which is a common misconception. Um, If you take emergency contraception and you're already pregnant, your pregnancy will not terminate. Um, Emergency contraception is also more effective the sooner you use it. That's why sometimes you hear it being referred to as the morning after pill. For more basics on EC, bedsetter.org is a great resource. The price range for emergency contraception varies widely. That depends a lot on what type of brand you get. If you get a generic type of emergency contraception, that's often much more cost effective. Um, If you get something that's a brand name, you're paying a little bit more. A lot of young people think, I don't need emergency contraception. What am I using it for? I'm already on a regular method of birth control. Um, That is expensive enough as it is. I don't need this, but this is actually a huge misconception. First of all, sometimes unprotected sex, despite our best intentions, do occur. In the heat of the moment, um, when you forget your diaphragm, when you forget to pick up condoms, um, things like that can happen. So it's good to have emergency contraception on hand for that. Um, Secondly, even if you are really diligent about your chosen birth control method, the reality of the situation is that human error and typical use means that sometimes we use these methods incorrectly. So a condom can break, um, your patch can be displaced, um, you might take your birth control pill too late, or if you take it on time, maybe you go out drinking and then you throw it up. Um, These are all things that happen in our day-to-day life that can lead to our regular form of contraception not being as effective as it's supposed to be. Most people know about Plan B, which is now available over the counter. However, you do need a prescription if you're 16 years old or younger. Um, Ella is a prescription-only brand of emergency contraception that just became available last year. Um, It is more effective than Plan B. Unlike Plan B, Ella is as effective on the fifth day that you take it after unprotected sex as it is on the morning after. What a lot of young women actually don't know is that you can actually use some brands of combination birth control pills as a form of emergency contraception, but um, the ability to do that completely varies from brand to brand. So that's something that you would want to check with a provider or with a medical resource before proceeding on your own. And the most effective method of emergency contraception is actually the copper IUD, which is known as the Paragard here in the States. Um, It is something that you do need a prescription for, and you need to have the Paragard inserted within five days of unprotected intercourse. However, if you can get a last minute appointment with your provider and can um, schedule an insertion, the Paragard is up to 99.9% effective. So it is by far the um, best option for emergency contraception if you want to be completely sure that you're not going to get pregnant. And last but most important, how do you actually get your hands on some emergency contraception? So if you want a form that requires a prescription, bring it up with your doctor next time you see them for a pap smear or a pelvic exam. Um, If you want to see where it's available at clinics or drugstores, then you can go to bedsetter.org where there is a online locator where you can just plug in your zip code and figure out where you can go. That just about wraps it up for this episode of Sex Really. We hope that you participate in today's day of action by backing up your method of birth control. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.